I'm sharing two apps that I yeah, just want to share that may be helpful to you. So, Stock Events. This one actually gives you some... The ability to create a watch list and pretty much track the earnings dates for all the stocks that you're pretty much interested in. So, it can be pretty helpful as far as giving you a heads up on the earnings dates or just keeping track of the stocks if you want to use that as a tool. Thinkorswim, this is, well, um, you want to you definitely want to use it on the computer, but yeah, um, paper trading is definitely useful if you are new to options trading or stocks as a whole. If you don't have any money to invest into the stock market or maybe you're scared to jump into the stock market because you're still new to it doing your research and you just kind of want to get your feet wet a little bit this is an option you can take if you want to i mean for stocks this is typically you can just jump into it if you, especially with the trading but it is an option you can have especially if you were to uh, create your own strategy as far as investing or trying out dividends or but typically I just this is more of a recommendation for someone who's looking more to do options trading and understand how the calls and puts work um using strike prices and yeah how how the money works with stock options because not everyone truly understands stock options and the power and the income potential that stock options can present for them or just literally just day trading like buying and selling jumping in and out of stocks it, it's up to you how you do it and how you decide you want to make your money um but ultimately you got to make the strategy work for you so right here you can make a watch list um shoot how do you make this so oh what the heck so you go to watch list you click that area the arrow right there and then you just create your watch list so it's nice to have a watch list so you can have like a select uh -huh. some stocks that you feel are pretty valuable and maybe volatile enough to actually make money with stock options or just day trading it's totally up to you how you do it, but ultimately you want to have some stocks that you feel are pretty reliable, that you trust, and yeah, a company that you trust that's going to make you maximize your money. So maybe you think it's Apple. You can buy 100 shares if you want to. I wouldn't do an IRA. I mean, you can practice with the IRA account if you want to. I'm going to do... A market order instead so that's what I want to do personally and I'm going to set up the trade it's set up the confirmation for that trade if I want to do options for it um that is totally different all I got to do is just well you can look at the chart if you want to it's going to give you news as far as the company is concerned as well options it has the profile as far as the well, company profile so there's their products, services, and what they've been make, doing as far as their money and news, company overview. It's all right there. It's pretty helpful. And it's giving you market cap data and everything else. So, And you can customize it as well. So if you wanted to add a bit more to it or review, remove some things, you can do that. You can set up calls and puts right here this is the option side of it so you're either gonna select a call or a put so at this point in the money out of the money so we're 127 is the price that we're looking at so in this case i want to look if i am buying a call i'm going to focus on the ask price so ask price these are buys these are sales for puts buys sales so i am 
going to buy a call. I believe that it's going to go to about 1.30. Let me find a specific date. So, that's February 12th, 2021. And do I... What are the options? Let me look at, whoops, 130. I want to look at that one as well. So does it let me look at more than, no, no. Down here, it's not actually giving me the option to look at multiple strikes. Or maybe, yeah, I think I just had to hit four. So it gives me the option to add strike prices right there. So I can add 10 if I wanted to do that. So now it's to increase the amount to 133 if I wanted to actually buy. So the on the calls, the black is where you want to actually, um, well, on both ends. If on the put, you're pretty much betting that it's going to lose value. On a call, when you're buying a call, well, when you're buying a call, you're betting that it's going to lose value. When you're buying a call, you're betting that it's going to um, gain value. So, considering it's at 127, easily I want it above 128. But, I'm betting that it's going to go to at least 130. But I'm going to go for 132 in this case. So not by January 22nd because that's too close. We're two days away. This number right here by the January 21st, it says it's at least nine days away. So I'm going to at least go for that considering I'm just going, well, no. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just a couple of days away. But I'm just going to go for 132 because... I do have that much confidence. I mean, 132 is not that far. I can buy 10 contracts if I want to. It'll be about $2,276. So because you are getting 100 shares of this, that's what the contract is. So if I just bought one, it would just be $227. I can get a limit order or I can set a market order if I want to. I think I've set it as a limit though. And I want it on margin, not the IRA. Um, I can set it to good till canceled. So it's good until I cancel it myself. If I had it set for day, it would if it never hit the limit that day, then chances are it's just gonna cancel that order right after the day ends. So it it depends on your strategy. That's a, something that you can kind of apply. And it's telling you that your profit is basically, your profit potential is pretty much unlimited. And you can only lose your investment as far as options is concerned. So I'm confirming the order at this point. So like I said, max profit is infinite. And if I wanted to break even, I'd break even and get 134 at least. Well, it has to go to 134 for me to break even, actually. And then I'd start making money as it passes that area. And let me, um, the buying power, resulting power. Well, send the order. We're good. It just has to be filled, but the market is closed right now, so... It's not going to be filled until the market opens and it hits that limit order. I can cancel stuff. And if I, this is where I can find everything that's been canceled. If I wanted to look at everything, it's right there. And yeah, I could just, as you saw, I could buy the stock options. And that's how options works with this.